What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2Wild checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back another 4K visual, back with another banger today, guys. On the review of the upcoming Jordan 6 hair. Today guys we have a review of the upcoming Jordan 6 hair set to release that I don't know. Recently in news on Jordan Brands in a lot of releases are getting pushed back due to what's just going on right now in the world. Right now in the world a lot of things are going on as you guys know. COVID, the protesting, the killing of George Floyd, rest in peace. Just a lot of things going on in the world that a lot of brands out there are wanting to instead of focusing on their releases push those dates back and try to get in touch with reality and what's going on in the world and help and finding a way they can help the best way possible. With that being said, big brands like Jordan Brand recently has stated that they're gonna donate over $100 million over the next 10 years to black communities out there. So with that being said, this release has been pushed back alongside with the threes, alongside with the top three Jordan fives, and there's no set release date for anything really releasing in the upcoming months because of what's going on. They don't know, it's indefinite. So with that being said, a release date for the Jordan 6 hair, we just don't know. Furthermore, however, the shoe itself, the quality of the materials on the leather are good, and the materials match pretty, pretty similar as far as colors and materials that of the Jordan 7 hair, which at the end of the day, me personally, guys, you can't compare. This is this is this is the real deal. This is the real deal. This is a good shoe, but this is the real deal, holy feel, you feel me? But you have the Jordan 7 hair and the Jordan 6 hair, and this is basically a reimagination of the hair 7 on a Jordan 6. They did a very good job though, I can't even lie. I love the lace locking, I love the color patterning. The only thing I don't really like about this shoe in general is the sole. The sole does not mimic anything close to what the original sole is. You have more of like a pink translucent when the hair 7 was a straight up just red. But everything else, as far as colors, they got it down to a Q. And even on the inside here, you have on the back of the tongue, you have there, you know, that seven, you know, type of finesse, that hair finesse on the shoe. They brought the seven tongue and put it on the back of the six tongue. You have a transparent, translucent tongue right there, which is kind of a clear red tongue booty and all that. Jump man, air on the back is in purple, Steve Urkel. And it also comes in this carrot box this is the same box we saw on the hair 7 2.0s the fur edition the retail on here is 190 dollars colors neutral gray black white you see it you believe it you feel me carrot on the box and then on the inside you got the paper that came with it. hair hair colorway you feel me but overall man the shoe itself the quality of the leather is pretty decent the quality on the new book it's fair in my opinion. Not the greatest quality Jordan, but it's a pretty, if you ask me, pretty average, pretty basic what you get when you buy a pair of Jordans out there. But the colorway itself is nice. The only reason why I'm not really gonna keep this shoe and keep it in my collection is mainly because I love the Hair 7 that much and I really just got enough when I got this one in particular. As far as colors, it seems like the Hair 6 is slightly lighter in the grays than the Hair 7s. The reds are very similar, but the reds also seem to be a little bit lighter. The Hair 7 seems to be more of a darker just shoe overall compared to its reimagination on the Jordan 6. I'm looking forward to seeing if this has anything to do. What 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 will Bugs Bunny be wearing in the movie? Will he be wearing a pair of Jordans and LeBron's going to give him a pair of LeBron's and tell him to switch them out? Who knows? We'll have to just wait and see. I highly doubt that because Jordan Brand's going to want their money if that's, if that's the case. Sizing, though, fits slice like any other 6 out there when it goes to the sizing. Pretty much can go true to size. These are size eight and a half. They fit perfectly fine to me. You see the lace lock. I can say the one once before. You have a goldish lace lock with a red top. I really like how they did that there. The patterns, for the most part, seem to be unique, not the same at all. And usually when it comes to seven tongues, every single seven tongue is different, completely different. So it's something pretty dope that's always been a part of the sevens. And I'm wondering if the six tongue features the same exact thing. I'm, I'm pretty sure. But everything there, you you know, you see the insole, same tongue, white jump, man. Pretty much basic Jordan 6 with the hair with the hair 7 colorway all over it. Translucent, as stated once before, you can see. It's pretty uh pinkish instead of the red. 
but that doesn't kill the shoe in a way. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions. Is this a shoe you guys are going to, going to go after? If you're not, let me know down below in the comments section. There's, like I stated before, there's no set release date. These were supposed to release last week. They got pushed back to this week, and as this week is here, they're getting pushed back to indefinitely. There's not like a set date now. So we'll just have to wait and see and find out what's going to go on as later days come. Let me know you guys' thoughts and opinions down below on these Jordan 6 hairs if you're going to cop them. If you're not, me personally, it's a pass, but it's definitely a nice shoe in my opinion. It's a Jordan 6 and it has a hair colorway. Can't complain. I just... I'm good with these, so it is what it is. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit that like button, comment down below once again. Hit the post notification bell, turn it on, and I love you guys. I'm going to end you guys off with an on foot. It's your boy, Tony D2Wild. I'm checking in. I'm checking out. Peace.